Okay, I'm going to give you my last little talk, and uh, it is getting dark. We're going to continue to remind all of you that you are your own liquor control board. Now, I'm not really talking about liquor, but I'm talking about your personal responsibilities. No one else can really do it for you. You might turn to your... I don't know, you really can't depend on other people for this. So how are you going to do it? In depth, we're talking about your views on everything. On planet Earth these days, pretty much people's views on everything come from... Uh, are they really coming from you? I mean, you get up and you look on Google News to get your news, or you're listening to the radio to get the news, or you're at the... Anyways, the whole point is you're getting your information from not you. How do you get news otherwise? We want you to go within. Turn within to get your truth. Turning within is basically isolating yourself from external people and external media. In other words, meditation. Maybe it happens when you go for a nature walk by yourself. The reason we need you to do this is because the information that comes from your own spirit, your own soul, is mostly good information. It's not good information when it's contaminated or distorted by ego. How do you know how much is good and how much is ego? Well, you have to start trying it out. You have to start trying it out. And the more you let go of your ego, the more pure your information is going to be. But this is something that everyone is going to have to do. And you're going to have to learn to trust yourself. And if you get it wrong, you're going to have to say, well, I was distorted by ego or other information, external information. I still see people who are saying they're getting soul information, but clearly it's contaminated and distorted because I still see people talking about their DNA and getting upgrades to their DNA. Clearly, that is not happening. It's all because you still believe that there is such stuff as DNA that you need to be concerned about. There's nothing that's a physical substance and there is nothing in the physical. Everything is consciousness and you only have to look into I'm getting bitten by a mosquito. So the mosquito itself you would say it's physical and I say the mosquito is in consciousness. What's the difference? The difference is if you're talking about physical items, you are locked into an old, old paradigm. It's old, old science from Isaac Newton. Oh, I don't know. It was 1600s, maybe. It's hundreds of years old. And it's not modern. It is not taken into account quantum physics. So, you know, you're so out of date when you keep talking about physicality as if it's real. It's not. Then some of you are going to say, well, I'm talking about souls and spirits, and that's, it's not. If it's not souls and spirits, then what is it? It's something to do with whatever you are. And even if you think it sounds old or fashioned or religious, I don't really have a better word for it. Because it has to do with what you are. Someone says personalities. No, your personality is mostly ego. Why? Because you only have to look at the scale of human consciousness 
to realize that pretty much people that are very low on the scale of consciousness still have personalities. So your personality is an add-on to what you really are. And if you're going to purify yourself, you have to let go of all this low vibrational stuff, low stuff on the scale of human consciousness. If you want that information, scale of human consciousness, uh, the, the uh, diagram is available on the internet. And if you want a good book for reference purposes, you can go with uh, Dr. David R. Hawkins. We usually say transcending the levels of consciousness. You could go with his first book, Power Versus Force. Pretty much every one of his books touch on the scale of human consciousness. So we're going to give you Dr. Hawkins. And if you don't want the book, you can listen to his talks on YouTube. And if you still don't want, you want something more than that, you can... Go on Amazon and select Kindle ebook, and you can download free sample for his books. So that's lots of resources that are free. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share.